Waters for displaying towels or magazines can be pricey in the stores, but Sarah can make one for a tenth of the cost because that's how good you are. <laughs> yeah, it's true, right? Yeah, you see these online or in shops for minimum $100. And I think I spent, mind you, I did have some paint left over paint at home, but I think I spent $15. 15 $15 on this. That's yeah. my price range. I like right? it. Yeah, and it's just, it's something that adds vertical, in, vertical interest to a space without taking up a lot of real estate. So this is great mm -hmm. in a bathroom for extra towels or even in a corner of a bedroom if you have some extra blankets that you may want to grab in the middle of the night. Yeah. Uh, so it, and it's really easy to make. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's okay. actually where all your clothes is going to end up when you get home from work. Oh, you know me very, very you know, well. Instead of the chair, <laughs> you put it so on the true. ladder. I, I do have a chair drove at home already, though, so <laughs> we're good. Okay, so there are a few different options of wood depths and stuff that you can use to build this. I went with two by three pieces for the sides. Okay. And I had them cut at six feet because you're going to angle it on the wall, so you want it to have lots of height in the room. So six feet seemed like a good height for those. Okay. And then I went with um, two by twos for the rungs mm -hmm. across the middle. Um, and I, again, I had really expensive wood. If you want to do this and stain it, yeah. you're going to have to spend a little bit more money because the really inexpensive lumber that you get at uh, your hardware store often has the stamps on it from the manufacturer and you'd right. have to spend a lot of time sanding that off, whatever. No, I yes. just, you're just going to paint that. So that's the budget-friendly option if you want to stain spend a little bit more money. Got it. Okay, so the next step is to figure out the distance between all of these rungs, mm -hmm. right? Um, I went down six inches from the top, Yep. and then I worked my way down 12 inches for every other rung. So you have that nice distance, that nice space, but you also want to have a little bit of extra space at the bottom too. It looks really weird to have a rung right at the bottom. And you can't do anything with you it. You can't anyways. do anything with it. No, yeah. and it just looks like a mistake, mm -hmm. right? So start at the top and work your way down. So what I did was I measured the distance of each of the rungs on the rails going down the side. Okay. I marked it with a pencil and then I pre-drilled holes for each one of those all the way through. And then I did the same thing with the rungs. I've already started this one here. I did a little X at the end, and then I did a little pre-drilled hole in the end there. I don't know if we can see that. Show us Thank a little you. X so that we know what's going on. Yep. Okay, got it. It just gives it something to grab onto. Yeah. You're gonna be more accurate. Okay. Okay, so then you have that all laid out. The other, I have two other tricks for this too. You want these rungs to be centered. Yes. But you don't wanna measure it or hold it in place the whole time because that's tedious and you're probably gonna make mistakes. Okay. So I just cut two little wood discs. All right. That are the depth of how high I want it to be. Okay. And you just slide it under one side, oh, I see. slide it under the other side, and it's automatically going to be sitting at the right height when you're putting it against Smart. this side, right? It's, I mean, these, these simple tricks that people don't think about that make your life so much easier. Yes. And then you use a little bit of wood glue on either end, mm -hmm. and then you're just going to screw them in. I don't know if I can angle it with this ladder here. Let's try. And you want to just make sure, obviously, that you're using wood screws. And Oh, thank you. I will help you. Oh, you're good. Ooh, I love using power Almost tools. there. Almost. There we go. There you go. It goes all the way in, and I'm going to show you too. I countersink it all the way in, and then you're going to fill that space with wood filler so you don't have those screw screws lining the whole ladder all the way down because it doesn't look quite as finished that way. Nice. Now, when it comes to the painting, do you have to spend a lot of time on prep? Um, you, you have to sand the surface first. You've got yeah. to sand There's it. There's some rougher edges on this type of wood, so definitely give it a little light sanding. Yeah. And then... Prime it and paint Prime it. it. Yeah, got it. You got it. Always with the primer. Yeah. Oh, and the other tip I want to tell you guys too is use your leftover wood to create spacers. So when you're going to put uh. that next rung, of course this one's a mini one, so it doesn't quite work. But when you're going to put a next rung, mm -hmm. you have that in place. Okay, really good. Yeah. Well, here's another easy DIY. These baskets are huge right now, very in, very inexpensive. Yes. You can actually personalize it by painting them. Totally, yeah, and, and again, this is something that if you buy it already done in a store, it's very expensive. Yes. And what I like to show people with this black pattern one, which I absolutely love, um, use things around your house. If you're gonna do a DIY, you don't wanna have to go out and buy a bunch of extra stuff to make it. Right. So this is all I did, you guys, is I found a bowl in my kitchen, Yes. and I put it in the middle to make a circle. Okay. And then you just trace around that with a pencil, which, there it is. It's right there. There's my pretty pencil. There's Thank you. Trace pencil. around that, and then I just used other paper cut to trace around to create oh, the rest the of that design. Got it. Right? So you trace it on yep. opposite and the same thing, and that's all you do, and you just paint between the lines. It's really so simple. And this is easy to paint as well. It's very easy to paint. 